Hey guys, this is Mark here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my mini games that I was talking to you about in uh, one of my previous videos. Um, yeah, uh, I got like 20 of them done right now. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is my Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, and almost 3 mini games. Uh, here we go. Okay, so this is the first one right here. Um, hold on, let me stand up my camera. Hey guys, I'm back. So I finally found something to stand my tablet on. It took me like an hour to try to do that. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'll show you like some of the cool things about this game. Like, okay. So first we have the lights. And then there's the doors. And uh, that's not the only thing. Um, there's a lot more to it. Uh, there's cameras. So this is where they would mostly hide. So there's this camera. And this one leads to all the other main cameras. So here's the stage camera, uh, the Pirate's Cove camera, there's also a couple more, there's the bathroom camera, and there is also just a plain full on thing, camera, yeah. This is Five Nights at Freddy's 1. There is still Five Nights at Freddy's 2 I need to show you. But yeah, I, I've i been working on this for a couple days. Here is number 2. So you're in your office. You got the lights. And then there's the cameras. This took forever, like you wouldn't even believe. Okay, so yeah, there's these two cameras. To turn on the light, you can just go like this. Same thing for the other side. And then it's kind of the same thing here. And, uh, there is the kind of like back. The, the old animatronic room, right here. And then if you go this way, here's all the other main cameras. Here is the stage camera. And uh, here is the puppet camera, where you see the puppet. Here's the room where the five children got murdered. Right in here. So yeah, that's the second one. I think that's about all the cameras. Oh, I missed this one right here. This is where you can usually see uh, Mangle. Well, Mangle is in the back, back uh, old animatronic room. But right here you can sometimes see Mangle. Like, and also there's a balloon boy that spawns here, you can, um, now, now I have to introduce, like, how the minigame works. Now, the minigame works, um, how, okay, so there's two, two people that plays the security guard, one is watching the cameras, and one is watching the office, and then the other players are the animatronics, they cannot move, and they can use ender pearls to teleport, um, and, yeah. That's, that's the second one, and the first one I kind of described. Now here's the third one, it's kind of in progress right now, I've, I just started working on it. So here's just the uh, main room, the office. I added the uh, audio error, camera error, and the ventilation error. And I also have the play audio. 
Now the cool thing about the play audio is if the spring trap is right here, um, you shoot fireballs, or no, not, uh, fire charges at the animatronic, and he'll set on fire, so the cool idea about that is the audio device from the other room is where the water is, and so the animatronic will be running over to the water, like as if it was trying to be distracted by the audio. And, uh, yeah, that's it for, um, Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, now I will go to the next minigame. Hey guys, I'm back now. Now this is not really a minigame, this is the heart of the minigames. Now this is called Crafty, I mentioned it in my old video. Uh, someone was griefing me again. Uh, anyway, what you get to do in this world is, if you win minigame points, what happens is, you can buy stuff with minigame points, like I'll show you here in a second. There is stuff I'm I'm selling. Uh, there's potions that you can use in mini games. Anything that you buy can be used in most mini games. Uh, the others are just like uh, huh. you can't like. There's so many games that you can't use your armor in, but simple things like PvP and stuff you can use it in. Now, if I can try to find it, there is. I'll show you an example of one of my shops. Here we go. The pyramid shop. Or the desert chart shop. Now, like right here, these are classes. These are uh, armor sets. Now, like this one, for example, you get to use this exact. You get this to be able to use in uh, PvP or whatever. So this is a sand harvester armor set, 500 points. Points again. They're earned through uh, winning mini games or getting kills in mini games. And, uh, depending on how much kills you get in a minigame is worth 100 points. So it'd be like 5 kills to get this. Or, to win, you get, if you win a minigame, you get 1 grand. So if you got 3 kills and 1 game, you could get this. So, yeah, that, there's an example. Uh, this is, th it's not the only thing. You get to explore around. Uh, there's a lot more to it. Uh, there's this place up here. Now, in this place, you are able to buy dyes and ca some kinds of like bricks. Now, if you buy a uh, if you buy one of these, you get a stack of it. So, say if I wanted to buy uh, birch wood or just regular wood, if I bought it for twenty points, um, it would give me a stack of the wood or whatever and the enchantment it's kind of simple it's only like 600 points to enchant something and yeah this is just the admin this is admin he has probably the best base that there will ever be if he was not the admin and he actually played this for a very long time he this this here is a five million dollar castle and there's other players that build their bases like this one right here and uh yeah mine uh, if you build a base you get to have a little beacon that shows where your thing is like here's my main town hall thing this is my house and if you would like you're able to put your class in your uh house if you would like and uh uh, yeah, I just have a little villagers selling stuff here, and then, yeah, I just have a little balcony, whatever. And, uh, yeah, there's bosses, too. You can fight bosses to get money, which is kind of cool. If there's any, uh, there's also a lot of things I've missed. There's also clan wars. Now, clan wars is very awesome. Here, if you, if you already have a clan... You can merge with someone else's clan. Sorry, I'm kind of copying uh, Clash of Clans right now. But, uh, yeah, you're, the leader will stand here. Your four members, or however many you have, will stand in these places. And you will then agree to be merged into one. And by clan wars, if you win three clan wars in a row, 
the end if you win three clan wars in a row against someone they have to automatically merge into your clan and uh yeah that's about it um you can customize your base however you want like this guy over here um he he's building a quite big house here and uh yeah there's a lot to this uh, moving on to my other mini games. Hey guys, I'm back. This is a regular PvP map. This is the most basic one. It's simply just a four versus four. It can be it, it's two versus two, three versus three, and four versus four. Um, you can get your own horses. You can um, before the game starts and you already own a class. Uh, you can, we start in creative first before we begin anything, so, um, if you don't have an armor set, do not be worried, because there's presets here, and also don't worry if someone has better armor than you, um, you do stay in leagues, now there is 10 leagues, I can't name them all because they have really weird names, so yeah, you just start off with random stuff. And, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, th this map's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite PvPs. You get to, uh, yeah, just battle in here and stuff. Just spectate the map. And, yeah, there's the PvP map. Hey, here we have one of my favorite and most artistic designs is a Clan Wars map, a pre-Clan War map. If you would like, you can choose maps for Clan Wars, but if you like things simple and strategic, you can, uh, instead of Clan War maps, you can just battle in the Craftia map, like, uh, by other previous video, I mean, map, Craftia, yeah. So yeah, here's the red fire ship, it's small, simple, has cannons on the top, you can shoot people with bows, you get free food and stuff. You can also use your classes in this, all Clan War maps you can use, your armor sets. And uh, yeah, just simply to shoot a cannon, you get a redstone torch, place it here, and boom, the, fire, the cannon fires. And same thing for this one, it's a bit more artistic and huge, but it's less, it's less, or, it's less organized, like, it's pretty big, like, I'll show you the inside. But yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, that's about it, I'll, I'll just spectate it for a bit. Anyways, moving on to the next mini game. Here is another map. This is also a Clan Wars map. This is called Battle Towers. I kind of stole this idea from uh, Factions, where they were doing an episode while where uh, they had uh, like one castle and one giant tower, and they had a bunch of cannons. So I kind of um, it, it's kind of been recommended in a way. So yeah, there's the red team and the blue team. Uh, you get to shoot these at the other team. Do not worry, Fire Spreads is not on in any of these minigames. They do tend to spread, like there will be a 10 second spread, 30 second spread, and then finally a minute sp uh, spread of fire. And uh, yeah, I'll just let you guys spectate.
now to the next mini game. Hey, I am back. Now this isn't exactly a mini game. This is more of a server. This shows all the mini games. There is Fortress Survival, Left Done, Craftia, Done, uh, Halo, Hunger Games. That's in progress. Defend. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry. Team League Deathmatch done. TNT run done. Uh, cookie Clicker. That one is being erased. I cannot build it. It's impossible. Yeah, there's Capture the Block. It's kind of the same as the other map, except different map and a different strategy. Uh, you get to still PvP, you still get your classes, and uh, you can also, yeah, you, you get you have your own block, you mine the enemy block, and you uh, place it where your block is. Kind of simple. Next is Death Pool PvP. Now, I will be invisible in this one, uh, as you can see. Uh, what you do is you are in an arena, and there's lava under it, and I will slowly, in a circular motion from the outside, go deeper and deeper, digging the floor as it, the floor gets smaller and smaller as the lava around them grows bigger and bigger. Next is Tool Game. This is kind of like gun game, except you use swords and stuff. Um, now it's also a different map. You can use your you can use your uh, armor in it, armor sets, and uh, yeah, it's like the others. Uh, every time you kill someone, you get a new weapon. If you get killed, you still get to keep that weapon. Now PvP PV parkour. Uh, I don't know what happened to that one. I'm I don't know if I'm even making that one. <laughs> anyway, there's Future Escape. That's one of my favorites. I'll probably show you that one. Uh, there's Castle Rumble, probably won't make. Violent Lands, that I'll make for sure. That's That will be a Hunger Games. That is a Hunger Games. Next is Nazi Zombies. That one is going off. I do not need more defense games. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Next is the Clan War maps. So like I just showed you, the Battle Towers and the Pirate Wreck. Uh, that means it is done. There also coming soon is King of the Hill, Underwater Labs, Skyblock Wars, Nether Conquer, Xbox console, you get to fight in a console and around a console, and Nuketown, which is going to be kind of cool. Next is the Leagues. Here is the Leagues. Here is League One, the Crescent. Uh, you don't need any kills to be in it, or wins. You, you uh, get in other Leagues by winning games. 10 wins for League 2, the Adrigan, uh, simple second league. 25 wins for an I, League 3. Uh, the Vama, 50 wins, League 4. Uh, league 5, 7 wins, the Numerec, which uh, no one has ever made it to yet. Next is the Vixadden, 100 wins, League 6. League 7, 120 wins, Exodus. League 8, 150 wins, Eclipse. And now for the craziest two that have never been conquered before. Galactic Nova, 280 wins. Now, you get, every time you uh, get in a new league, you can get, like, League 9 when you are... Uh, get introduced to it, like, once you're in it, once you've gotten tw 280 wins, you'll get 90 grand of points, because it's League 9. So, like, if you're in League 2, you get 20 grand, which is insane. Next is the Quasar, which is insane, and nobody has ever made it to, except for the Adam, probably. Uh, he will get... 100 grand, which is a lot. Those are the leagues. And here, of course, is the most expensive armor that you can ever buy. This is the craziest armor set that there possibly can be. Is the Diamond Rain. 350 hundred thousand points. And others, they get smaller. Uh, 200 grand for that. Now, I in August this will expire. Um, it is 70% off here, 
This is a uh, golden dragon armor. Only 12 grand. Get this while you still can. This is an insane price. I guarantee you will love it. And 100 grand. Yeah. You get the point. There's also holiday armor, like sand armor, snow grankle armor, elf armor, and snowman armor. Just let you spectate that for a second. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Next is the Halloween armor. There's pumpkin head armor, headless horseman armor, spooky skeleton armor, and the too spooky for me armor. Now, the too spooky for me armor is 20 grand, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, I'll let you see that for a second. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, so that's about it for this video. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't show, show you all my mini games. Uh, I think the, I, it'd be better making this video shorter because I don't want you guys to just sit there for such a long time. And, uh, yeah. If you haven't realized it, my previous video yet, um, of me talking about adding me, uh, if you haven't added me yet, um, there's a thing in the description that will say my gamer tag, or I'll just say it right now. It is Corblox Cedra. If you look on the side, you can kind of see it. I'm not sure if you're good at seeing sideways tech gamer tags, but here, I'll show you. Um, here. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up good, but, uh, yeah. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you would like a 200, uh, 200, uh, sorry, 2,000 points, free points to start off with, which is a very good deal. Um, and I'll see you, I'll see you in the next video. I believe my camera quality is actually probably good enough for, uh, gaming videos. I might start up gaming videos, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video for the third time. This was Mark Cooley, and I am out.